Like, I deal with horny ass niggas all day at work, and you think just because you're spending a little bit of money, I'm just gonna be like, fuck me. Like, no. Maybe. It's possible. <laughs> Can you cheat and still love someone? Honestly, me personally, I don't cheat. So I don't know how to answer that. Are, are you the relationship type? Yeah. What makes you a relationship type? Um, I feel like I'm the relationship type because I like being loyal to just one person mm -hmm. and not multiple people. Okay. And I feel like when I'm wiped up, like, I'm really locked in. Yeah, like, I'm not out here. How does someone catch your eye? Someone can catch my eye by just being themselves and showing that they're different than the guys that are in my DM. How does it got show he's different? They gotta, you know, spark my interest. They gotta take me out on a date. They gotta talk their shit. You media trained him. I'm gonna break the <laughs> end of this podcast. <laughs> she media trained. I'm gonna break oh, this. Oh my god! Before the end of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be in love with two people at the same time? You think, Hillary? Because okay. if you really love somebody, okay. what if what if one of them was in a, a life or death situation? Who are you gonna say first? That's the person you love. True. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. Because you're going to let the other person just die. Like, which one do you know? That's true. Um, have you fumbled a good man before and why? I don't feel like I have. I've never been in a situation where I feel like I fumbled somebody. I feel like I've been in situations where they fumbled me. Okay. And then they tried to spin the block because they're like, oh, well. I see that she's in a better position now. So. You leveled up past them yeah. and they try to come back, yeah. Yeah, but no. Have you ever fumbled a good guy before, you think? You know, I thought that I did until I really thought about it. And what I really thought about is he fumbled me. Facts. They'll never yeah. have no accountability. <laughs> no, no, no. no. Yeah. He fumbled me. No, I never fumbled. I heard because that. I had to put the last it. episode. So you just perfect. All right, we're going we gonna to break you, too. Right. We're going to break both of y'all. Right. Yeah, yeah. quickest, right. quickest way for you to lose interest in someone? He, he not spending money. Mm. I, just, I just had the same. Why got to be about, like, money? Like Because all the girls that love people for who they are didn't get a snooker. So yeah, and if I you're not spending money, I mean. I don't got to date somebody who broke. I don't got to struggle. Just because you struggle, I don't got to struggle. Yeah, I'd rather think. somebody that be on the same level as me. Or I, if, okay. Yeah, because I, I can afford to take myself out on dates. If a nigga can't afford to take me out on a date, he, he shouldn't be in my presence. Yeah. How much does he have to spend on a date with you? Are you cool with, like, decent shit? Like, could we go to Chick-fil-A? If we dating for a while, yeah. Okay. But at first you want something more... I want something more extravagant. Okay. Yeah. Best date you've ever been on? Best, Best date. date I've ever been on... <laughs> I went to <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have that smoker's cough <laughs> best date I have ever been on I went to Stone Pizza for the first time oh that's what we talked about okay. yeah and you know he paid for everything everything was a vibe it was super chill super genuine yeah you gave him the cheeks um, not the first night. Okay. Yeah, not the first, the night. first night. One thing about strippers, niggas be thinking that we're super easy and we're actually one of the most hardest females to get inside the pants. Why? Why is it like that? Because, like, I deal with horny ass niggas all day at work and you think just because you're spending a little bit of money, I'm just gonna be like, fuck me. Like, no. Maybe. It's possible. Because when you see various, it's various maybe it's possible for money, yeah. you gotta be a certain... It, on the right yeah. night, maybe. <laughs> nah. Uh, too much rent. I'm good <laughs> now. Thanks, Leroy. Nah, you gotta take me out on a few dates. And spend a little cha-ching before yeah. you think mm. that you're fucking. But it can't just be vibes. Is I'm it? not fucking future. Well, no. That nigga is walking herpes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I take my sexual health very seriously. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with future? He got he, uh, he got around like crazy. I know. He has know. like eight ba baby moms. Mm. I feel like he don't be using a rubber like. 
At the same I time, would be scared we're, we're, for my life. But at the same time, women like shit like that. Like, no. we, if you got eight baby moms, women want to. Certain women want to find out. Well, that's the woman with low self esteem. Yeah, don't really care about them. Yeah, low self esteem. Because now they like way, that. One is like, I never dated a guy that had kids. But okay. One is like, mm, two is like, three. Yeah. Now you got eight. Yeah, Ima- just imagine. Yeah. How many? T- and it's not the same person, mind you. Yeah, yeah different, different baby moms. Yeah. Absolutely. This is Skinny from the Nine. You not watching Bad Bitches Only.